I tell you, man, I think uh, there's something going around called uh, brain damage. Yeah, a grown-ass man is obsessed with somebody that he constantly calls a crackhead. Let me tell you something. I know people that are crackheads. I mean, I see them all the time, but I'm not obsessed with what they do in their life. It doesn't bother me, or real talk. If I know somebody is a crackhead, they're doing this or they're doing that, I'm not obsessed with them on a daily basis. I mean, that's you, you know? Nobody crawled out of his radio speaker accident did to him what I did to him, man. Nobody put his government name out there, his whole family on blast, the correct history. Nobody had him crying hysterical in tears in multiple video games. And last but not least, out here on Channel 19 begging the whole community to give him information because nobody knows nothing about Richie. <laughs> Except that Richie owned all the biggest CB shops. All right, I'll be back. Look at that. We even got bad girl out here. It is officially the junkie hour. Saturday night's all right for a fight. I got to go upstairs and get some milk. I'll be right back. Enjoy it. One five hours as I go. Officially the East Coast Junkie Hour, courtesy of your Lower East Side of Manhattan fag boys. Single shielded garbage. Junkie Diggle Hour, Snort and Giggle and Snort. You're going to hear all the snorting changes, man. To the masking, to the snorting, to the, to the snorting and yawning in the one key up.
reputable seller and you know see how much they charge you for the remember you gotta get i don't know what you want to do i would get six foot you know if you get the jumpers and just um you know make sure to see how much it is with the connectors small axe out there. Uh, I don't know if Big C is still out there, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of guys out there, man. Exactly, man. Yeah, there are people here. I like people. I like that. That's how it's supposed to be. All about talk and, you know, and chill, man. Yeah, Roger, right on, Well, yeah, me and Small Axe, we were having a good little time, man. Uh, what's his name was trying out a, a new uh, a new amateur rig on a four foot uh, four foot throw there out of the Bronx, and uh, it's been a fruitful day, fruitful night, no doubt about it. There, Commandante, you're holding the wall, Sound King, the man, the man that makes you watch it wiggle, watch it wiggle while I make you giggle. Oh, he's a thick rider, big time. Forget it, buddy. Yeah, I just, I just turned up. All right, Commandante, I'm going to get back quiet. I don't want anybody to think I'm riding anybody's dick while I'm waving a four and a one on a man that waved at me. You're South King in Brooklyn to hold the wall. No, I'm Crooklyn, Brooklyn, CB shop. Pistol with the bang, this club. So, I share that when I go out, out of my house. But when I'm here, my buddy shows up. I was uh, leasing, you know, uh, enjoy yourself with the token right here. Yeah, but, uh, I think you get out of me, yo, because you got people to talk to. I tell you, man, as soon as he hears me, that's it. He jumps through. I think I want to talk to and junkies. <laughs> I, uh, I got to talk to real, man. I can't talk to so much energy that's needed to squeeze a mic there. When I let go, whoo, whoo, whoo. Hey, uh, Commandante Axe, see if you're there. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. And Cracky was never the same. I tell you one thing, I'm not going to key up on Christmas. If he hears me on Christmas Day, I don't want to bring back memories. I don't want to bring back memories to him, you know, when he had that tragic event. Oh, man. He'll start crying like he did to me as he kicked. <laughs> and he's like, really? Yeah, we felt kind of fucked up like that, man. You know, it was like, uh, you know, I'll leave this nigga alone. But then Cracky wanted to start his bullshit again, so fuck him. You know, hey, yeah, you know, that's not... Your radio sound good while he's trying to find means to save his face, man. His radio sound good, Commandante. I love every time he tells this story, man. Every time he tells it, there's more detail, more like uh, it's real, more like... Yeah, every time he tells it, he actually... It actually sounds like he convinced himself it's real. <laughs> Well, you do know what a number 18 look like on a Galaxy 949 meter. I said, you do know what that number 18 look like, Commandante. What you mean, what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, on, on this duck plucker, 10 and better is a full quiet. Commandante, let me run upstairs and get that milk, man. You're holding the wall now, Crooklyn, Brooklyn, CB shop. The most talked about, most envied and freed man at every table in every defense nation. It's cool. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello. La chiche, comandante, lo sotteva ahí. Sí, comandante. Small X, we're even in a row. So that's it. Is it you or, you know, no, I just comandante, I just learned that copy on this old doctor, Lance and Andre, yeah. It's a copy of you, man. Hey, Klein, get the chevro. Yeah, I was listening to you, man. I respect you, man. I was listening to you. I was listening to you, man. I respect you. 
Gilman, el comandante. I will listen to you, man, for the morning, all the time. Uh, I listen to you, uh, and I like you, you, you mambo. I like you mambo, man, you, 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 you history, man, you history. You, uh, you, uh, you, one of my books, man. You, uh, one of my books, man, respect. <laughs> we appreciate that. Hey, Comandante, likewise, man. We appreciate that, man, I likewise, man. We give you a lot of respect on the air, man. Comandante, man. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Small acts moving and we clear. No problem, sir. No problem. Uh, yeah. One more frame. One more frame. One more frame. You got one more frame in the frequency. One more frame in the frequency. You got one more frame in the frequency. See, sometimes I don't talk too close to the microphone. Uh, yeah. You got one more frame in the, in, in the, in the frequency, uh, Comandante La Chincha de Mayo. Uno más, amigo. Comandante La Tata. No problem, sir. <laughs> This radio sound, my only uh, with no power. I uh, uh, they listen to me in, in Florida, in, in Miami, in, in West Palm Beach. Just in one radio with no power. See, uh, we not we not supposed to put no power here locally. No power. Just let's talk with only with the radio. With no power. And then when. The the, 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 the the condition come, then we, we talk, all of us talk, talk, and you know, and, and, you know, whoever we'll win, whoever we'll win. But, uh, you're not supposed to uh, pull the uh, 5,000 watts and put it in my house, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Commandant, do you sometimes do that for the Super Bowl and then them kind of channels, man? I kid you not, but right now, um, I'm talking off a straight coax dipole, pure coax antenna, no wire, straight coax, uh, center radio, it's a center conductor, the coax, and that's what I'm talking about right now, measured and cut there to me. Yeah, that's the, the way I like it. I like it when somebody talks to me, only with the radio. We locally here in Brooklyn or in New York, talk to me with radio, pay a hand, but I don't talk to me with radio, don't, 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 don't,
I don't know how to explain it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know how to explain it. I just keep uh, dealing with it. Keep dealing with it and, and <coughs> try to fix my station better, better, and better, and better, and better. <coughs> so we okay, uh, 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 even. <coughs> we okay, even. So it's dead, bro. Forget about it. That's why, that's why, like, a lot of times I just choose to talk on the bull when the skip is rolling. Because at that point, it don't matter. You know, um, if you people are out there trying to get our name called, so if you drop in that mall, then you know what I mean? Nobody can complain. You know, you want to complain about somebody dropping the mall on six when skip is rolling, you need to go to another channel. But I can understand sometimes, too, that uh, when you're dropping that mall on the bull, it's like, you know, for the other channels, like, right? Because <laughs> you bleed on them so bad. I know I bleed from time to time. Two, two, five, oh, and then, you know, maybe I see you uh, drop off. I gotta drop off at the sun at nine and shit. I gotta do my thing, man. How about 46? I went drop, dropping off any benches. Yeah, I'm dropping off a baseball bat. You wanna pick it up? <laughs> it might have some fucking uh, ball headed. You gotta have balls to do something like that, and bad girls just ain't got them. What did Crocky say? He wants some balls out here? Yeah, he said he wants some balls on his forehead. Craggy, dad, he comes, you know, let me tell you, Craggy comes out all the time, bro, with the truth. He said, I want some balls. At least you know well, I speak the truth. Before. I said, uh, 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 And why do you think he removed all his teeth? Yeah, to get better Gumby jobs. <laughs> yeah, man, forget it. 206 was his first customer, man. <laughs> and they were spooling together. You see what 206 has built me? Oh, my God. He's moving cracky in. Oh, shit. Yeah. He pulled the garbage can from the backyard to his crib. Yep. I tell you. Groucho, Groucho the Cracky in the garbage can. But the sad part is, R C Cracky and Pedro are gonna, <laughs> we gotta be in the basement. <laughs> Here on Felipe, tear it out, tear Maria up. Yeah, that's some sad shit, man. And uh, fucking Little Miss Makeup, make it, I'm making penny, Felipe, you want some? Watch it, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get pink smoke out here. Oh shit, gay smoke. I'm not afraid that. I do. I do. Those back mountain bitches. I do. The Flatbush. I do. Yeah, I thought they were the pink lady, the Flatbush. Now you're not gonna hear you over these clowns. The gay lords of Flatbush. Hello, I do, I do, I do. Down by law. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Sour Scout. Sour Scout, baby. Microphone, my microphones are uh, 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 
it's, it's not connected uh, uh, for you to to will to will uh, well, uh, my microphone. Uh, what radio you put the mic on? No, no, no. You, you need me to do the mic. I need to know what radio you're going to plug the mic into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn a plus two, but you want me to fix the wire. I need to know what kind of radio you're going to plug that mic into. Si, no problema. You radio a Connex, yes, si? You, you, you radio Connex, si? microphone plug for Galaxy kind of, and microphone plug no problem the wires to the battery to the board to the battery thing problem see okay See, see, see. I, I got you now. I got you now. Okay, I, I misinterpreted. I thought you wanted me to wire it up to your radio, but, you know, when you wire a mic plug, you got to know what radio to plug it into. But see, you you don't have no mic plug problem with the pin. You have the uh, the wire problem with the battery, the, the, the battery, the thing that goes to the top of the battery, to the wire, to the... Bo I got you. No problem, my friend. When you got the time, I got the time for you. No problem, you ring the bell. Not if you want it done right. More like five minutes. But uh, as long as you call me and say to me, I'm coming over, plug the solder gun in, that takes five minutes out. All right, Axe, I'll be right back. He's all yours. Enjoy. It's all nonsense that leads to nothing. It's just to be part of the in crowd and, you know, to make sure you're making noise up in the air, you know? That's all it is. It ain't no big deal, man. Um, on 31, you know, I used, to, I used to get a kick out of it. I'm like, look, we got three different counties rocking at once, and everybody can rock like that, you know? It was when somebody decided they wanted to get stupid. That's where, you know, that's where, you know, the problems seem to come in. And when you tell them, you know, you, you know, you foresee a problem, this is what's going to happen, and they don't believe you. You know what I mean? It sort of like hurts them twice or more when they figure out, wow, the cat's right again. My 400, the one I got, the stiff one, uh, it'll handle about fucking 5,000, 5, I think 5,000 watts, I think, what it said. But I could be, I could be mistaken. It could be a little less. You know, if he didn't snort so much, if he didn't have that snort and telltale in there so much, it wouldn't be so bad. But between that and all the all the voice changes and the <laughs> oh man, you know, sometimes I think the lucky stars I ain't working. Dutty Max, it's a heavier gauge center conductor, and it's uh, double shielded. And uh, the difference is, is uh, you know, if you're using uh, you know amplification and you want the most the maximum transfer you know to the antenna that's uh that's what i picked up it's called uh, 213 max yeah it's funny you know when i before i broke down even more 400 i was looking at that cable you know and i asked a couple of you know a couple of the hand you know you know you know the deal a couple of the hand fellas we know now mr enforcer told somebody last week in the video gates he was using heliax <laughs> ah the power in the video gate the king of New York City, baby! 
AKA term, the CB stenographer. Okay, we didn't have the car, so, you know, fuck it. <laughs> so I said, we just get the, the LMO 400, but the Max 213 is good. Yeah, we're reading a lot about that cable. That's one of, matter of fact, I, you know, and it's funny, how I found out about that cable was through uh, Mikey, too. Because Mikey was running, at one time he was running that, because he was running so much fucking juice. Yeah, well, the difference, like I said, the only reason why I use that is because the length of the run that I have to use. If I'm, you know, if you're using uh, under 50 feet, then it's not going to be a, uh, you know, a problem. But if you use a 100 feet, 100 foot run, then you want, uh, you know, heaviest semiconductor gauge as possible, you know. And, I mean, it's just like anything. You know, people don't realize that the, uh, the gauge of your semiconductor is going to make a difference of uh, maximum transfer of energy. The same thing, you're not going to use a 12-gauge speaker wire like Richie's going to use in that Sweet 16. You're going to use, uh, you know, nothing, uh, you know, nothing less than a gauge. I said they say it so much, they actually uh, sound like they convinced themselves it's true and they believe it. I know nobody ever heard me say that, but, you know, that I'm trying to point it out. Nevertheless, the power of the video game. One inch OD, hard line. That shit's five dollars a Dude, I, I, listen, listen, your, 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 your 12 gauge, 12 gauge is what you run off your power supply to feed your radios, 12 gauge is radio wire, 12 gauge is not an amplifier wire, but I just think it's funny the power of the video gate, I gotta go back last week where, where he was telling, where he told the man uh, like he was uh, painting him a portrait about the Heliax and what he was using, love the power of the video gate man. What is that? Hence, who what? The CB stenographer did what again? Dude, listen to him to try and talk technical is the most funniest thing, dude. But you know, it's even funnier when it's coming off one of my two video channels or, you know, in the layout of uh, me there. But it's hilarious, dude. Hold on, I gotta sit back. <laughs> Yeah, he'll talk to you if you can get his attention. He'll talk to you. He liked that. He he don't know when he's tripping himself up. Listen, junkies are funny. Let me sit back. Like, what the fuck? They go to the dictionary, try to look up the terminology. Sorry, Cracky, the words I use are, are when they pertain to electronics, you're not going to find in the Webster. The only thing Cracky knows is fucking Fisher Price, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Wire, and fucking Candy. <laughs> Well, look, he's, he's going to use 12-gauge speaker wire on a Sweet 16. He fucked the guy already by, uh... Well, I'll tell you, this boy's a clown. $9. You're going to get, uh... He's... Look at those... I'm telling you, I bet you they ain't never seen a kilowatt very slow. Never. Dude, catching them is easy, dude. Their own mouth doesn't fall them. I'm back away. It's a tough junkie. Catching them, catching them is easy. Catching them. Craggy, stop your shit, man. <laughs> Listen to that dope being snorting and trying to yell and laugh and act like he all happy and shit. Yo, Axe, if you did what I did to these guys on the mic and off the mic, especially that bad girl out there, man. You did you knew what I did to him on multiple occasions? <laughs> yo, 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 Axel, all you can do is sit with your feet up and laugh and go, <laughs> this is what it's like to be defeated and run and scan. Now, you know the difference between the defeated ones and the run and scan one. You ain't got to pay attention to figure that out. I'm back in my quiet chair. I'm a poor charity one out there, yo. I'm a poor charity one out there real quick because I heard you had something about buying jumpers. Don't buy nobody's jumper, man. Make your own damn jumper. Stop it already. Don't buy nobody jumper unless you want to blow shit up. Buy somebody jumper that don't know how to make it and they package it and act like they should as professional. Make your own shit. That's a Roger. You gotta see what they did to poor Birdman. Birdman used to clean this radio out, dude. Birdie was cleaning this radio out. Now he's a, now he's under the noise level. 
Yo, dude, hey, listen, I pride myself in the way I do my sauna drops. So do other people when they look at it. More so when they watch me do it, they want to make sure I'm doing all that for them. Nevertheless, Axe, let me run upstairs to get that clear cream, man, before this coffee gets any caller. I'll be back. The question is, look what happened. The rumor has it on the Super Bowl. I see you laid out on the concrete floor. There's a lot of shit. What happened to him? I, I guess he doesn't realize that that, that happened uh, over here. Uh, on Channel 19 of the morning show. Junkies are funny. Who would not I just do a charity one out there? You see what I'm saying? I just do a charity one out there. I ain't saying about doing them with you. You do for them. I just do a charity one out there. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do i am going to tell you what i am going to do when his whole fucking life, his life is based on a lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dog. Yeah. Well, at least he realizes my occupation, uh, my occupation was totally 100 based on a major lie. Yeah, he's got that right. Well, on the to on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he came clean just a little while ago saying that he gives brain out there to a lot of men. I'm like, wow, man, he really is coming clean. I'm, I, was, I was proud of him when he said that. You know, the fact that he's coming clean, at least. But, you know, little by little, maybe uh, if he grows some balls, he'll come to the CVS over here, and uh, we can straighten it out once and for all, you know, and prove that he's a crackhead. Hey, don't, don't, don't enforce it. Don't say balls, because 10 minutes ago, he just said he wanted balls. You mean after four years, nobody out here can prove Richie smokes crack with them? Damn it! Yeah, you know, I got that lovely video of him smoking crack at 194 Utica with a couple of young teenagers. Uh, I would give it to him. I would actually hand him the video. Before, I would play it for him right there, man. I would actually play it for him right in front of him and uh, see how stupid he looks. Yeah, Craigie, you got your there, Squeaky. Yeah, I remember I can't break up the microphone. Say, yo, so what? So why we smoke crack, do drugs, do dope, and Richie's in the background? No, don't say that on the radio. He said, yo, fuck that. He told Richie to sit in the corner. <laughs> that was funny. They were sunning him in his own crib. Jumping on his fucking mattress and everything. He's like, yeah, hey, dog, don't do that, dog. What you got to say about that, huh? Uh, Dirty Magoo. Hey, Dirty Magoo, what you got to say about that? You ain't got shit to say about it. <laughs> DEIs. A fucking sweet 16 Texas star with DEIs. Piece of shit. Yeah, I, I tell you, man, I would, I would be embarrassed to even order that for someone and say, yeah, I'm going to hook this up for you. I would be embarrassed. I wouldn't even give an amplifier like that away to a friend. Yeah, I know, man. I had a fucked up shit about it, yo. Cranky, cranky son, that kid. Made him buy that fucking bullshit box. I came with them DEI. I just sent it to him. No, he don't want DEI. It's one of the cheapest, you know? Get, get, get what you're going to pay for. You're going to buy something. Get the good shit, no? And Cranky even charged him more money to say, oh, yeah, and I modified it, dog, when those fucking boxes already come, already done, so you can fucking use them, motherfucker. They never made it a fucking cocksucker. Yeah, and he charges the poor fucking guy for, for the uh, conversion. Yeah. And, and the fuck those shit is, when they want those fucking... <laughs> those stickers are fucking cut. That's it. Warranties and valid. Warranty not valid. You know you gotta open up every Texas star and make it work on AM, right? You, you do know that, right? They know that. But Cranky, Cranky charging people for some things that he didn't do. <laughs> he charged money. Man, 
girl collected on this. They swear my boy paid seven fifty. Five ninety and shipping rang up on his car. Well, the same thing with the all right. I deal with a couple of warehouses in Ohio that have acreage for fucking, uh, uh, <laughs> acreage of stock, dude. But nevertheless, man, uh, yeah, man, they, 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 they're uh, directly from Texas Star. All their shit come, uh, and, uh, it depends where you get it from, man, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, get it, it's like it's from Texas Star to them to you, man. Like I said, these are the big boys. They're the 12-volt capital of the world, Ohio. And they had a thing about it too. When they, when Texas started started using the DEI pills, they actually put it, they, they they make it so that you you know they don't have don't they have like an attenuator in there and like some extra shit different because they know that they're not as um, they're a little bit more um, prone to popping as opposed to the sheep. I don't want them know what they're talking. Yeah, it looks like the driver function of it is a little different, but you know I you gotta look at it like this, man. We all know that uh, many years ago, DEI had their man problems. I don't think a major, major, major long-time manufacturer would actually be using them if DEI didn't get it worked out, man. This is Texas Star you're talking about, man. This isn't, this isn't gay, man. You know what I mean? This is Texas Star, my man. Yeah, my, yeah, my man is a class A, B circuit, so it's not like your average, like, you know, from Dave made or anything like that. Yeah, and then they got fail safes in it because of the uh, pills that they're using right now. I mean, would I buy one? No. I wouldn't buy one for myself. I prefer if I'm going to use the Chinese pills. I'd like the HGs because I got some, and they're pretty rugged. I popped a couple of DEIs, so, um, but then at the same time, too, I drove the shit out of them. So, you know, something that you shouldn't do for the HGs, a little bit more rugged. Roger, right on. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. The last time I picked up one and installed one in a mobile was in 2003. So I, I got to tell you truthfully, I don't where. I honestly thought it still had 2879 in it. When I opened it up, I was surprised too. But nevertheless, that just tells me I got to I just got to run my gear in like I'm rocking. Uh, I, I got to use a special formula that I use, and it'll work fine, dude. It's just like how you gear and how you drive it, you know what I mean? I said, so I already know it's not going to be kissing 1500 or even kissing 1400 like the older boxes, you know? And it'd be lucky if it break 13, you know? So I, I just keep it kissing 11 on a stride slide and we good. <laughs> now, what you talking about kissing 11? You talking about on the average peak meter? What kind of meter y'all be talking about? Because I inquire in minds when I know that. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm talking pep. I'm talking pep. And and and, and Burr, you and I already know, man. That's uh, that's forty times eight. There's your bird. And I know how to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I need to put a PEP meter in there. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm talking on a, on a on a pep output. All all true for the side. That box is only rated for I think three hundred bird, man. 300 bird, 280 bird, probably with the DEI is 280. But uh, nevertheless, man, do you, 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 you just keep it from passing that 11th pep and it'll last you a lifetime? Yo, check this out. In the mobile on the regular, on the, this is on the regular, if you have dead key, like knock a dead key 2550 bird and swing forward to like 7, 750 on the regular. That's when I'm swinging at 750, 800. Kiss an 800. And just that's just swing on a bird. That's not that's not a PDP. Roger, I, I already know for a fact I'm gonna have a dead key in between uh two and three hundred somewhere without a doubt. So nevertheless, hey uh, uh Axe, I'll be right back there. And uh yeah, man, shoot that kite because I can send you the cap that this cap boy, man. Uh, I'm just gonna figure out I guess I'm gonna have to he gave me two different photos of it, one from the side, one from the top end, so I'll just spread them out as thumbnails, man, give you different angles of it. But, uh, yeah, man, shoot that kite, and I, I'll send you that cap and that battery that I was talking about. Nevertheless, you're sound king back in my quiet chair. You've got my number ready to shoot.
starts off with uh, my boy just got started and you know what I'm saying that them things I don't want anywhere on my table and in my wraps you know what I mean I, I deal with long time brand name manufacturers you understand I deal with the big boys I, I, I'm like so close to manufacturers it's unreal you see what they do for me you know, even the cats at X-Force adore me even though they know I don't do business with them they adore everything I had to say about them. That's why they came out with that nemesis line with all the colors I described six months before I came out. You see those numbers they put on that nemesis brochure? It's called 1271. And you know none of their boxes are on a 12 point. So <laughs> I'll be right back, dude. Oh, He could say they're not as they used to be, whatever the case may be. That manufacturing production plan is the same. That high-end equipment, that X-Force, Dave May, and all these cats are never going to own in the next 50 years. All on that table, baby. All on that production plan. I trust their production. And that's the bottom line. I trust it as much as I trust. Yo, when I tell you I don't ask for transistor boxes, I'm only trusting three manufacturers. Four. Would you, but hey, I, you know, I, I got to listen. I'm old school. I've been doing it too long. You know, when I got to turn on my radio, I got guys pulling up that I ain't seen in 20 fucking years running the same radio and box. I put that motherfucker. You understand? I'm setting my ways, baby. Well, at least he got someone to hold his hand, at least. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You hear all the people out here backing you up saying Richie did me wrong, he overcharged me, or he fucked me, or his shit blew up? No, you ain't got none of them in four years. Try on, bitches! trying to learn something, but at this present point, they're trying to convince themselves that the kid that's investing all the money and bought this brand new Texas Star and these batteries and the traffic, that I fucked up his radio and I'm stuck with his striker. Forget that he's never selling his radio, not even to me, won't even trade me for anyone brand new in the box. Forget that he's, forget that he's got almost 2,000 wrapped up in an installation that hasn't even started yet. So hold on, Axe, you're going to have to let them convince you of that first. I'll be back, man. Dad, no, no, Dad. Been doing this for 30 years. All right, first thing he does, he fucks with the audio section. We were calling him. He was sounding like the Tin Man, remember that? We got him to the point where he was actually calling himself the Tin Man. Then what did he do afterwards? He had, oh no, actually, the first thing was uh, he was on frequency. All right? And we, he, then he Poor Mr. Enforcer. He's dead bent over my range of 2950. Mr. Enforcer is probably the only guy I've ever heard on the band wave that would take a range of 2950DX out the box brand new and would mess with the transmit, uh, the frequency transmits. Your sound king in Brooklyn is clear. Finals. And he doesn't need to change the finals because I'm not familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, this cat really thinks that, you know, this is a fucked up cat that would pull a brand new $300 range of 2950 out the box and start messing with his transmit frequencies. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead serious, dude. That's the kind of clown he is. 
<laughs> Richie's three signature radios and all his CB shops was Superstar 3900, Shooter the Grants, and Radio 2950s. <laughs> oh, this cat's too real. Yo, Axe, I don't even think they know the answer to that question, Axe. I don't even think one of them would actually give you an honest answer. You want to know why? Because they're not those type of cats. They're not radio cats. They're not out there wheeling and dealing and buying these things and setting up these kind of things. So I don't think they can answer that question for you, man. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out back for a couple of minutes, roast this hell. And when I come back, I, I bet you you still ain't got an answer. <laughs> Sweet 16, he's gonna hook up to a mobile. Oh man, I tell you, there's a fucking sucker born every day. It's way too funny, man. You know, the funny guy, let me tell you, the best, the best, the answer to injury was this dumb fuck open at 2950. He thought it was a regular, like, the additional resistance capacitor, like a 148 Galaxy, where he saw those surface miles, he's out there, he's doing the people. Yo, Bad Girl was uh, in the room when I was tuning the radio, man. He, uh, they, they watched me change all those transmit frequencies. What a bunch of suckers. Still don't understand radio world. You need an all Max, I'm not going to lie to you. I taught quite a few people in the radio business how to do radios. A couple of my girlfriends could do radios with their eyes blindfolded. And, 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 and my girlfriends will stand behind you. And if she, they seen you going anywhere near any of those transmit frequencies on certain model radios or after the, you know, they, they would hit you in the back of the head before you even, before, before, that, you know, before that lining tool could ever touch there, my girl was smacking you in your head. Are you, are you, yeah, your mind is a sideband radio. You do not, under any circumstance, all those. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah, yeah, these cats are, yeah, I tell you, I swear to God, I, I got girls that can laugh at these guys. Axe, I'll be back. They call himself a captain, a suspended captain from the NYPD for the last 20 years. Anyone with any kind of fucking brain in their head that knows about civil service, you cannot be suspended without pay for 20 years and still have a job in any position at any capacity. Unless you got a presidential appointment from George W. Bush. <laughs> uh, you? What are you looking for? What kind of wattage? <laughs> Are you right back? Okay, uh, I, I'll be right up. Stay there, stay there, stay there, right. I just finished saying I got an original, an original 667V, a 
all right? When Texas Star used to use copper boards, copper boards, all right? And original Toshibas. Now, nobody said nobody likes Texas Star. Texas Star now changed. Again, if you go on their website, they tell you. If you're gonna purchase, be specific on what you want. You want DI pills, you want HG pills, or you want Toshibas. They specify that. Nobody says, hey, they make the boxes, but you know what? When you want more power, more better shit, hey, you go over there and get some better. Me, me personally, hey, I got all the time of equipment. I got Fat Boys, I got Dave Mays, I got Dentrons, I got, <laughs> I got fucking a Barker Williams, all right? I got a Barker. Now, if you talk about you want to go take it back to the old school, I got a Barker. How much they would pay for the tech? How much did they get the Texas Star uh, EPO for? Well, you got their attention. This is amazing. That's right, so how you gear and drive it.
everybody take it to 22. Go to 22 because this fucking MTA lady, man, she's doing a fucking nine pound on my side, man. She's fucking wiping you guys out, man. Go to oh, this is funny. Wow, he's trying to be civil, Axe. How about it? Where you go? 22, 22. How about that rascal up there? No, it's not right. She's got to give me a minute. I'm going to get my clarifier because I'm running to uh, a Yakima. So I got a dial up here. And I got a sit inside here so I can get to all the program done inside. You know what I mean? So I ain't feeling that. So I was running the dial and you should feel the man. All right, cool. No problem. Yeah, and I'm going with a Yakima. Yeah, that's that because the fucking those two fucking MTA recorders, man. They fucking kill that channel every once in a while, man. So it's hard to hit him. Yeah, I got him. I got him here with a seven to eight now. Yo, mean you do all that dick sucking and all that talking on a channel? You can't hear nobody just to suck the king of New York and the hole in the wall, not Brooklyn, Brooklyn, CB shop dick. Oh, bad girl in love. The king of New York City. talk before this is beautiful I didn't 
you say that, don't put words in my mouth. Oh, that's what it sounded like, yo, for real. I'm not, I wish I had the word again. They're still looking for where Richie said he's gonna use 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> You see how you're getting school? How how we're making points to you, me and the public? <laughs> no, no, see see the problem is people they don't listen, they don't they don't comprehend. I said the minimum I would use for my setup is eight gauge. I was using me as a reference, not Richie hooking up an eight pro. That's not what I said. I said minimum I would use, all right? And I was referencing that to coax. Dude, I'm in this... Small axe, he didn't hear what word you said. He keyed with you the whole time. I modify, I upgrade amplifiers. So I know exactly what, what you need, what you need to benefit yourself in a mobile situation and in the, uh, as a base station setup. So when I said 8 gauge, I was just referencing that to my own personal need. I don't need anything more, because all I had using it was, it was basically, I was just using a 4 pill. And I would a little 4 pill, like, all you need is 8 gauge. You don't need, I mean, you could go bigger, but you really don't need it. Now, in a mobile... Now, he can't do any of this stuff until he finds people that I've done it for that are unhappy. I ripped off overcharge or their shit blew up, by the way. Uh, they want to point that out, actually. You are, you, you know, you are listening to the whole conversation. Because, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, Cracky likes to key up on me, being that he is your local. And I'm only running barefoot with a 5 watt radio. It's uh, not that difficult to key up on me when you're locals. But uh, anyway, that's, that's why I use the 8 gauge reference to uh, my 4 pill. And you clarified that, me. I got exactly what you said, and I exactly understand what you said. And, and look, the man's fucking right, Richie. stems from the conversation he overheard me and the kid having where my recommendation was six or four gauge or rocking four for the ground and a six for the positive on that like I've done many times before but uh, the kid says no man he's using zero gauge straight up everything's zero gauge man so you know I can't bend the kid I just think it's hilariously funny that um Anybody out here who's been listening to me for four years could actually believe Richie would ever say. <laughs> I've heard Richie explains his two-pill installations and 12-gauge ain't even in the equation there. All right, I'll be back, Action. You go ahead, man. I don't want to intervene. I think this is funny. This video gate is on an hour 327. Well, uh, you know, the first 50 minutes of it shows all the fake felonious ass shit till Axe got your attention and brought some reality back to it. But for the most part, the first hour is still sucking Richie's dick, hallucinating and hearing things. Nevertheless, I'll be back, uh, Axe. I don't want to interview man. I think this was great for the game. Yeah, he was a, uh, a, uh, a nitro. That boy, he was even acting up when I was trying to talk to Big C. I'm talking to Big C and Richie keys up on me. And you know Big C is local to Richie. And he's like, let the man talk, Richie. Richie, let the man talk. You know? I mean, come on. I mean, uh, you know, uh, clowning Richie is... is Axe, I could not hear what you said. He keyed up on you the whole time. Uh, listen. When he come, when they come off that key and you get their attention, you can let them know I left the building, I ran to the avenue, so we don't have to worry about them trying to entertain me to you. I'm clear. It's got the best of them. Now, if, if you say something that makes sense, something that's logical, I'll agree. I'll say, okay, he got a point there, just like uh, Small Axe. He heard, me, he heard me clarify what I was saying. The reason why he didn't get all of it is because Richie's always keying up. He doesn't want people to hear the truth. That's Richie's problem. And Richie can only key up on his locals 
All the truth is in the big money here dot playlist on YouTube. There is no truth today, tomorrow, that can be uncovered. Big money here dot playlist got all your truth and justice. Logical conversations and uh, Richie's nonsense every fucking day of the week. It, it makes no sense. And I, I get tired of it myself. Yo, Axe, Axe, I know what you're hearing. And I think the first half of this video is quite amazing, man. It's on an hour five two four, but I don't want to interview you, so let me run to the store and I'm clear. His uh, stupid comments, you know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is, I'm not criticizing Texas Star as a brand, like like um, Powerboy had had emphasized. They don't make them the way they used to. The boards are made much. He got his 12 gauge where he got the $750 I allegedly charged the kid. <laughs> amp over. Can I build an amp? You give me all the components and I'll do it in front of you. I don't need to do that because I make good money. I make very good money. I don't have time to do that even if I wanted to. But the problem is you have frauds out here known as 127. Let me say fraud. That's singular. You have a fraud. Yeah, I do keep really realizing you're not going to say, well, you know, Richie been out here doing this shit for a long time, and I don't hear any of his customers complaining. I've never heard him give out bad prices, and I never heard of any of his shit that blew up. So, I'm the fraud. No guarantee. His warranty is as long as he's alive. Well, uh, you know, when shit starts going south, then you'll have to worry about what kind of warranty you got. Until you can find something going south, no warranties needed. On something that's guaranteed, it better be in writing. And it better be backed up by something. All right? Not a promise or, or, or hot air. So basically, you know, as long as we have constructive uh, conversations, everything is cool, small acts, and I have nothing personally against you. You know, we could clown each other, this and that, fine. But when it comes down to serious talk, the first thing Richie does is start clowning. He starts keying up and talks nonsense. But the bottom line is, I don't have any problems with the brand name. I don't think Texas Star is a brand that I would, you know, say that it's garbage. It's just the devices in the... God, half my video gates the last two months just went to shit. Now, the HGs, in my opinion, they're just as good as the Toshibas. That's how, that's how much they refine those devices. All right? And I proved it. I proved it with a, a recent amp. Listen, it's got to have his approval or it's no good out here. And you have to have warranties, regardless of if your ship blows up or not. Four pills, match pair. All right, which is something I emphasize. If you're going to get a four pill or two pill, it's always good to get them in matched pairs. So you have similar gain characteristics. Cracky doesn't know anything about that. But anyway, listen. I would love to continue this conversation, but I got to get up early tomorrow. I do, uh, you know, I, I am working, so uh, it's good talking to you, small accent. Uh, he knows some of the shit you're going to throw at him next to you, believe. That's why he's running, but nevertheless, I'm out of here. But it seems like you're a sensible individual, and uh, I have respect for people who have, who have a, you know, a hand on their shoulder. But uh, no problem, man. It's good talking to you, bad boy. And uh, Nitro, I got to get out of here, man. I'm looking at the clock and it's uh, already 12:38. It's about that time. So uh, you you all have a good uh, a good evening, or actually a good morning. It's actually morning right now. I gotta get out of here. And uh, if I don't catch you guys out there tomorrow, I'll catch you out there the day after. Ten four, man. Have a good night, bro. Seventy three, man. Yeah, right. Um, uh, F four, see you have a good one, man. You know, long one to talk about, man. But yo, you you talk some sense, man. But you know what kind of like. The conversation we be going on with, man, she was cool, man. But you see, when y'all throw so much emphasis on criticizing this dude, you know, I mean, I mean, I, when y'all having a fight, it's all good, man. I mean, that's what y'all do, that's y'all thing, you know. I mean, it's a get on the TV, right? All this shit. He said, "But you are incorporating sucking too much of Richie's dick." Yeah, he told you don't spend so much time sucking Richie's dick in your conversation with others. The people are tired of it. That's where he fucked up. Uh, it is what it is, man. What you want to do? Uh, 
you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, Small X, man, it, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure, man. It's been a pleasure. Now, you know, the reason why, Richie, let me just, I, I did say I was going 10-7, but let me just clarify something here. The man's just telling you he don't want to hear nothing about Richie if he have a conversation with you. That's what the public getting through to you. Richie does some nasty behind the scene bullshit. All right, he was involved. Of Hold on, I did all these things I never did, and this is the reason it's going on. But you forget about it. You don't need warranties. Whether it blows up or not, you gotta have a warranty. I'm robbing you. I'm frauding you. I'm telling you lies. I'm making up stories. Too funny. I'm gonna call this video gate. Go to channel 22. Now, you know, and not only that, he's, he's part of, of the shit. He's involved in with, with people who are racist. All right? People that, uh, that call, as a matter of fact, one of Richie's best friends is this guy called, um, uh, what does he call himself? Uh, Mike Action. All right? Mike Action bought a radio from Michael Jackson when the man was alive and claimed that Michael Jackson jumped him. So what did he do? He went on the Super Bowl and was calling him a nigger. Everyone on that channel a nigger. And this is the kind of person who Richie associates with. So it's a lot deeper than us just climbing Richie. Hey, man, I could run my own mouth, my own moral thinking, and my own racism thinking, man. I can't be in control of anybody else's. Well, actually, you have a good one, brother. God bless. I, I know I'm long-winded. That's, uh, <laughs> that's something I can't help, man, because once I start talk, talking, you know, I, I just like to speak, man. And I definitely like, I'm a man of honesty and, and integrity. I have no reason to lie about anything or bullshit anyone, man. I do what I do, and I, like I said, you know, I'm not one that uh, that associates with bigots or bigotry, and I definitely don't like racists. So I just thought I emphasize a little why Richie gets where he gets out here. But you sound like a cat's been out here for a minute, so you know what time it is. So that's just a little of, of the background with Richie and why Richie gets what he gets. Yeah, but the guy everybody's buying things from has no repercussions, no problems, and nobody out here screaming, yelling, he frauded them, overcharged them, or it blew up, and that's all I care about. It's radio, dude. I know him like I know 250. I never laid eyes on him. I never hung out with him. Do I know him like I know you, small axe? Hell no. The man is a phony. All right? And we've proved it many, many times in his character and it's his, in his behavior. All right? We're not just out here clowning the man for no reason. And it's not, I wouldn't even say we're clowning him. We're, we're exposing him. This is the difference. You know, if you want to have fun, we could clown each other all day long. But I'm not out here, you never hear me out here saying I got four badges, I, oh, I'm married in Sade. It's all about crying about Rishi. All about crying about Rishi. Yo, dude, I, I, I know Mike Action like I know Enforcer 250. That, that, that'll sum it up for you. Did, did I ever hang out with him, go get something to eat, or smoke a spliff with him, or ride on his ride? No. I'm clear. But the bottom line, when you fuck with a cat that's racist like that, that says a lot about a person. Anyway, hey, uh, small axe, I gotta go, man. I'm looking at the clock and it's getting closer to one, man. I gotta get up early. 
So, you know, and by the way, Richie was keying up over you when you were talking. I just wanted to emphasize that. And I'm not saying it to start trouble between you. The man was... Uh, You'll hear it in the video gate. Going. But unfortunately, uh, video gates are not part of my life. I'll make one in the morning and that's it. Yeah, the truth they capture, the sliminess and the scumminess is unreal. And the people out here with, uh, you know, with some kind of, with, with common sense and intelligence, you know. But uh, you have a good one. Hey, uh, Nitro, and uh, when Bad Boy gets back, let him know how to break out, man. It's, uh, it's about that time. His crap just came through the door. He ain't got to work tomorrow. Roger, take care, man. And Richie, don't key up on small acts, man. That shit's not right, man. All seriousness, don't do that shit. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, the man politely told you he don't mind talking with you, but when you spend so much time incorporating talking about Richie and crying about Richie to him, that's where he feels, you know, you're fucking up. But nevertheless, the video gate is at one hour and 16 minutes and five seconds. It will be called Go to Channel 22. It'll be called Lick Lap, Lick Lap, Go to 22. Your king of New York is clear. <laughs> You know what? I'm not changing me for this crew, and I'm not the one who's crying about them. It seems like they want to cry about me. After they said how bad they were going to beat me up, what they were going to do, and I told them that's never happening. And when I got them on my sidewalk, especially that fag punk right there talking, him and his buddy Nitro, you know, I, it's plain to see, man, that they just can't uh, finish what they started. And because of it, you're, you're, everybody out here is going to pay. Me, I, you know, I gave them ample enough time ample enough warning and I pleaded with them and said yo once I feel it started bro it's only gonna end one way and you know while they thought it was a joke and this that and the other thing you know let them keep still looking for the radio people I'm robbing their fraud and lying and shit that blow it up when they can find any of that they will worry about the warranty whether I'm breathing or not but nevertheless let's not skirt the issue to the fact I'm not changing me for nobody you know, if, if I want to spend my time running around the dial uh, beating up on racists you know, I can do that all day long, and everybody, including myself, would get smacked in the fucking head. So, uh, you know, when you want to try to justify, if you're going to tell somebody I'm down with somebody, man, you know, tell them I hang out with them, I roll with them, and I break bread with them, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't try to tell them I know people, or, you know, these are my boys, but, you know, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, this is too funny, man. Way too funny. All right, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, Axe. I wanted to get out of here a while ago, but I thought it was hilarious when it spun and turned in into it is a very very interesting video gate at uh one hour 18 minutes and 22 seconds oh one one eight two two If you hear when they ganged up on you and said, oh, you fucked up right there. Because you said, you know, <laughs> plain and simple. Yeah. <laughs> I love this video game. This goes platinum, bro. This is going on like almost every playlist. I ain't going to let the junkies live, breathe, or try to construe them and ever, ever being right. I'm going to let you know that right now, man. And, I, you know, I, we had a good copy on you in the gate before we moved to this channel, but uh, up on 19, you were, you were 7, 8 pounds in the video gate. On this channel, you're like 2, 3, so you definitely didn't dial in right from my ears, that's for sure. <laughs> God, I wish I could hear Axe, but you pulled the Birdman on the receive. 